Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. Thank you for joining me. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery kits. And I am here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And it's a time when we can relax and craft together and, and uh, we work on a pro project from beginning to end here for about an hour in the evenings. So thanks for joining me. Hello, Bonnie, I see you popping in. Uh, so we are going to continue on the Charming Chevrons, uh, Charming Chevrons quilt today. We are going to finish up our second to last row. I only have one more tiny chevron to go. We'll use that as our warm up. And then I want to flip it around and we are going to free motion our label. So we have one more zigzag row. That's our bottom row. I thought we could um, write the whole like label information. So I'm going to do my name at the start and end date. Even though we're not quite done, I'm going to estimate when we're going to get this done. And uh, uh, just kind of the location and the location for me is on like my YouTube page and uh, with the project listed there. So kind of what we did for my Splendid Sampler 1 quilt. Uh, we did a label for that where I stitched it out. This time I'm going to free motion quilt it. I think we'll go up and down along the chevron too. And then I'll come back and add more decorative stitches uh, when that's done. So we'll see how far we get on that tonight. I for sure want to write out the text. Uh, I'm not positive I want it cursive, even though that would be the easiest way to do it. Uh, we'll we'll play around. But first... Uh, first up, we got to finish our elongated uh, swirls just for that one more chevron, and then we'll be good to go. So, all right, I'm going to flip you around. Let's get going. Thanks for joining me, guys. Okay, so these are, these are those little swirls we got to do yet, and I only have this one more chevron to go. Oh, it's shark week. <laughs> you know, I had a shark... I had a shark kit that we were gonna make, but uh, we never ended up doing it. I should uh, bring that out again. All right, I think we'll go right there tonight. I think you guys can probably see. Okay, we should still be set up from last night, and it looks like we're ready for a big swirl into in this direction. So let's get situated again. All right, I think we're good to go. One more V, one more chevron uh, to go. So this will be our, our warm up, which I think will be good because if we're going to be writing text and everything later, uh, that might be a little tricky. So, all right, let's do it. All right. I noticed that my stitches were a little long there, so I, I sped it up. Oh, you need, you need the, uh, shark, uh, <laughs> the shark embroidery pattern. Yeah, it was actually one of the ones that we pitched for Joann's for this next time around, but, uh, didn't actually, um, go through. So, I don't know, maybe we'll bring it, bring it around again, the sharks. I thought it was pretty cute. There were sharks, we had a hammerhead shark and a, like, a great white shark on it and then some fishies and uh, an octopus. So maybe I'll, I'll have to break that guy out again. Trying to just get my speed and my spacing figured out for the day. I think we'll shimmy down, follow this loop here. Oh, you must have it, Gretchen. Oh, funny. Well, we'll see what happens. I think let's go up like this and get a loop hidden in there. Oh, I kind of did that a little too close to the side. I always got to remember to leave, leave some space to get out of things, and I don't always do that because I don't know where that space should be. Like right here, I didn't leave, leave a space. Otherwise, I think I like that loop. Funny little loop in here. Do 
gear, I'm gonna have to get out again too. I can tell it's time to move my hands. I'm trying to I'm trying to drive with my hand way over here. They should be real close. All right, little loop in the corner there. And uh, we, I think we could just kind of loop to the end here now. Just swoop up like that. I think that, that'll be our plan. Swoop up right from our current position. Okay. So let's just get up there a little bit more. a little bit of a warm-up I feel feel good giving it a little a little test run here before we get going with weird text and everything let's add a loop here oh uh, Tina this is a grip it uh, I actually have two of them um, normally I would want to use both of them at once kind of like um, like this uh, it's so you don't have to wear the glove, but I, the, the neck, <laughs> the throat, the throat of my machine doesn't go far, back far enough when I'm doing these zigzags, like my, it hits here, so I have to actually lift my hand up a little like that. So I'm just doing, I'm just using one grip it, but it's from Sewing Mates, so you can go to, uh, sewingmates.com, and, uh, they have them there. But I like it. I like mine so far. Ha! I'm becoming an old hand at this pre-motion quilting. I don't think I'm quite there yet, Noeline. <laughs> I still can't get in and out of places very easily. Like, I always keep trapping myself. So I know what I need to work on. That's, that's good at least. So, uh, uh, this is my first free motion quilted quilt. And, uh, um, here, let's just kind of follow the line a little bit to get back in here, because I think we're fine over here. And this is, like, basically the second to the last row. So this is, like, the final exam, basically, this, this, uh, row right here. <laughs> This is the final exam, and then the next row is just like the fun extra credit sort of thing. Is the last day of school is the is the um, next one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so my big issue, I, I towards the beginning, my first few rows, I was having a lot of trouble with the swirls and filling in the spaces, like knowing how to get in, in and out of the swirls. And I'm still having trouble with that, but I, it, it's much better than earlier for sure. Uh, but I know. Uh, for the future, what I need to work on, that's, that's, um, fact. Oh, you tried free motion quilting for the first time today. Oh, yay! You can only manage loops, lots and lots of loops. That is awesome. That's all I could manage, uh, day one, too. And, and, uh, like, even meandering, which, um, you know, people say is, in theory, easy. But I don't, I don't find that easy at all. I, like, it's the getting in and out of spaces, and I think those loops... Like what you're saying, that was the easiest way for me to get in and out of spaces were the loops. So I'm sure, I'm sure that'll be a favorite. All right, so let's let's pop up here. But yeah, this um this last row is I think deceptively fancy. Let's uh I'm gonna get up real high here. So sorry, bear with this shaking for a sec here. All right, but yeah, this last row is so fancy like it looks like um like knotted wood or like a japanese painting or something i'm gonna actually flip it around to the back because this is where on the back is where i want to do uh the label but here we go so this is this is the last row 
So the last row is looking all fancy, especially from far away. If you look up close, you can see all sorts of crazy mistakes and um, weird areas of getting stuck or not. But man, it looks fancy. Um, and I think, uh, so we went from, you know, row one to here. And so it's definitely a progression for sure. So here's a couple of things for my first row, you know, just trying to go up and down to one side to the other a little bit. And we did kind of like loops, trying to get loops from one side to the other. So this is my first, my first row. Then I tried meandering and that, that took me a while to get. And I, still, I don't feel comfortable going in. Like I have some weird, weird shapes in here, but we did some meandering. Uh, then the third row, I did a pile of loops. Um, man, still getting in and, in and out of things has been been the hard part for sure. So here's the first time I tried swirls. So super, super similar to where we ended up, but look at all the spaces that I haven't filled and just trying to figure out how to get in and out of them was really, really tough for me. Uh, but it's kind of fun. It's fun looking over all this. And this next one, I think we were just getting crazy. Um, we did some loops with, uh, we added some stars here and there. I just started drawing like little flowers, <laughs> like freehanding little flowers and stuff. Uh, we were just playing around. Um, and then I think, I think we might have tried pebbles, but only for a second because it was taking forever. I think that's at the other end of the quilt. Oh, and then we tried, we tried those orange peels, I think what they're called. Um, so we're, this was a, an attempt to do all of one side and then come back because to do these, you go down, up, and then a, then a side, down, up, and a side, um, down, up, and a side. And then when you come back, you do all the bottom bloops. The frogs in here somewhere, I think it's up on the other side. When we're completely done, I'll lay this all out. But yeah, then I was just trying to get better at my spacing and just arcs. So we just did arcs from one side to the other. I think this actually looks pretty dang fancy. I like I like just these plain arcs. I would totally do, do these arcs again. And then uh, we attempted feathers next. So that was super duper fun. I think that is actually my favorite. Those feathers were really fun to do and they just like immediately look, look fancy. <laughs> And then, then we're to the row that we just finished tonight. So we worked on this. Uh, what we did tonight was the third kind of day on it. And it was the long, elongated swirl. So where we went a long swoop before we did the swirl and then kind of filled it in with some other swirls. And, and uh, my goal for this one, I, I on purpose did the swirls, um, or the, these elongated swirls again, because from earlier, I had difficulty with my swirls and I had difficulty filling in spaces. So I thought this was, this is kind of like the final tester, uh, testing chevron. So I'm like, I'm gonna do the two things that I'm finding, that I'm feeling like internally that I'm having a lot of like struggle with. So I wanted practice basically. So this is my practicing swirls and filling in spaces. Um, I still, I'm way not comfortable with that. I know like that's, that's at my, top of my brain of like, wow, filling in those spaces I, I need help with. And then we're going to kind of do, this is our last row here, and we're going to work on filling in spaces here as well. So here's our, our last blank chevron. Um, but I want to, uh, someone here, I forget who said it here, uh, but there was the idea of making, like, s stitching the label. So doing free motion quilting of the label and I just love that idea. So first of all, um, it's good practice for free motion quilting and I think it's just silly and fun and then I don't have to make an actual label later, which I hate doing. <laughs> I always forget because like in my head binding is the last step and I feel awesome after binding or binding and then washing. Um, the whole idea of getting a label on there is just like, ah, oh, I thought I was done. So anyway, getting the label done now is going to make me happy. So I wrote out um, what I want on the label. <laughs> and this is based on our conversations that we had 
uh, for the Splendid Sampler 1 label. So this is the same information on the Splendid Sampler 1. Oh, yes, just practice, Tina, exactly. I mean, uh, like I said earlier, with this quilt, this is my first kind of attempt at free motion quilting. And I knew going in, my row ones are gonna be horrible compared to like the last rows. In theory, that was my hope. My hope was that I could see a progression or feel a progression of like like learning basically. So I was okay with the first rows being, well, I was okay with all of it being horrible as long as I learned along the way. So, uh, um, you know, might as well make it into a quilt too, right? Then I'm not, uh, I don't know, I always have a purpose with my quilts, basically. And my purpose with this one was, I'm gonna learn how to free motion quilt. So anyway, here is um, that, let me find, I have, um, I have a white, I wonder how this is gonna show up. I have a white, oh great. I have a white uh, chalk pencil here. It's uh, from Soline, so it's a Soline chalk pencil. There's white, basically white, pencil lead chalky stuff in there. I thought we'd write it out. So uh, I want the text, well, I think what I think we could use like this as a kind of our baseline. Uh, like uh, this is like our rule line almost, like maybe, maybe we hover like half of an inch above it. So this is just kind of like my guideline maybe. And then we write kind of as if we're zigzagging a little bit. That could be kind of fun. I want to write it all out first because I don't think I'll be able to freehand it. Plus I'll be stitching, you know, sideways. So I don't think I'll be able to, you know, freehand cursive or something. So, um, let's give it a go. I'm tempted to write my name not in cursive just because it's almost all smushed together anyway. And I kind of like it not cursive. So I don't know. I think all I'm going to do is start writing and uh, to connect the letters, I'll just connect the letters along this baseline, I think. So we'll write this all out, then stitch it. And then I think we'll frame it with some bloops to get back to the beginning here. And then we will fill in all the rest of the shapes. So obviously we won't be doing all that tonight, but if we can get it written out and started tonight and hopefully the rest of it, um, if we can get the rest of it sewn tomorrow and the bounce back to here, then when we come back, uh, we can do all the filler. And I want to do a filler of all the things I learned here and uh, making sure I fill the whole space. So let's get started. So I got to think about this as if I'm, I'm going to get you guys a little bit lower now, as if I'm writing or as if I'm connecting free motion quilting, but I do think it'd be fun to to not have it all be cursive. Although I think I probably will a little bit later. So let's think. I suppose I can just write it out and I can figure out how to connect it later. So I'm gonna just go, let's just start. There, I'm gonna just try and write it like how I write. So if I'm thinking about it, I would go here and I'd have to connect that a little bit and then I'd connect underneath here, connect here. This S is already connected. I'd have to come back here, connect another S, probably backtrack and get that A and then come back down for the next letter. Let's just, let's just keep bending it. I think that might be kind of funny. Oh yeah, so uh, Terry asked, what about the other side? So I, I didn't touch on that. This is an idea that, that um, was mentioned yesterday. What if we stitch on the back? Because first of all, then, then um, you know, usually I put my label on the back and uh, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to have to write it backwards and then stitch on the front. So we flipped it to the back so I can do the writing. It's not going to matter so much on the other side because the other side, yes, in theory, everything will be backwards. And especially with this funny purple piece, it's going to say my name backwards there, which will be goofy. But uh, there's so much pattern and stuff happening in this side that it's going to be hidden a little bit more. So I think, um, 
we're gonna just leave the bobbin and thread that are in right now. So we'll probably actually run out. Um, we might run out of this green. So we'll leave the bobbin, whatever it's gonna be, cause that will blend in to the other side. But we should pick a color, I think, for, for this. Um, and this is kind of what I have left. I'm wondering, maybe the gold would be kind of cool. Or let's pick one. This is, I'm, I'm using up thread that I have. We could also use pink, but I think that might read as really light. Let's see. Yeah, that's true. I could start one over, Terry. Then um, that would give me a little leeway here. And you know what? I need the bobbin, or not the bobbin, the binding's got to go on yet too. So I think you're right. We're going to start one over. So I just got to remember that, yeah, I'm going to start here. I think you're right. Um, all right, so I think this is too light. I think it reads as white on the red, and I don't really want that. Maybe this medium gold. There, that's that's pretty bold still, but not, here. it's pretty bold, but not crazy town. Um, let's just, I wanna try, I just wanna try this kind of pale green. I think this might, read as white too. I think this is too light. Yeah, too light. Yeah, I don't really have any medium colors. It's all just really dark or really light. So I think, or just gray and I don't want to do gray. That's too boring. So I think, I think we got it. We're going to do this gold. <laughs> That's going to be pretty bold on the back here, but I think it'll be fun. I like it. All right. So we'll get that to the side. And uh, um, this is what was in, was this green, this kind of teal, but I, I don't think we're gonna have enough, especially if we fill this whole thing up. So let's get rid of that. And uh, I have a brown bobbin in the bottom, which will blend okay with some of this stuff. Um, I think that's my last brown bobbin, so I might have to uh, do a new bobbin on the other side too. So that'll be goofy, but I think we'll be okay. So, all right, let's... Let's start here instead. I think that was a good call. And then I'm just gonna copy what I got here. So I don't want it too big. I mean, I could do really big letters, but my idea, and I'll just draw it here, um, pretend like this is this is already stitched. I wanna come back and sort of uh, bump around all the text like that, and then like fill in with all sorts of, you know, little, deals like all the things that we've learned basically <laughs> and I'm trying to do it you know what if we put a feather in you know what I mean so I just want to kind of frame it do the text frame it and then fill in everything else and that's why I want the text a little bit smaller um, smaller so I have room to add all these fills so all right Starting for real, we're going to go right here, and I, I think I am going to just give myself a little bit of an edge here. Not that I'll stitch on this, but just so I have a little baseline of where to write. So, all right, I'm going to go about maybe halfway up with, with the text, so let's just write. I'm going to try and write it how my handwriting is, because I think that's kind of fun, and I'm going to have to figure out how to connect it all as I free motion. So we might be free motion in slow motion. Let's get that there. <laughs> Going over the over the bumps there. All right, so now I have the start day. I don't have the the day, but the month. So I had to go look up on the old YouTube videos. Um, I had to look at at the YouTube videos to find out when I actually um started it. I wonder if I should be doing this cursive though now. I suppose we can change it up. Start, and somehow I want get to get a colon here. I'm probably gonna have to go here and then sew up and around and around and then back down. So we started this in January. I hope I have enough room on here for the whole label. We'll see. Let's flip the rest of this around. 
So January is when we started this. If you can believe that. We've been working on this since January and it's August. So that's how long we've been working on this guy. Let's do cursive now. I like kind of like a cursive J. Jan you air then we're gonna have to back up here January two thousand eighteen we'll have to figure out we'll be some backtracking on there um, oh, Gretchen, I could, I did not remember when we started. I have to, I had to look it up and then I was like, oh, well, at least it was still in 2018. Uh, all right. We'll do end and not cursive. Oh, even though an E would be really good, but just to make it like the, um, like how I wrote start. We'll put some weird colon in there again. I could stitch maybe this much, but I kind of want to write it all out just because um, it's going to be hard to write it when it's on the machine. Oh gosh, hopefully I have enough room here. Uh, I'm going to assume we get it done in August. So I know we still have July, but, but we're going to be working on the Splendid Sampler as well, and uh, I still have to do the binding, so I'm going to assume it's going to be August. <laughs> so we're writing August. We'll do that in um, cursive two. Now that's a good free motion word, August, I think. There's a whole pile of good free motion um, shapes with that. August, and then let's get another 2018 here. I think it'll be fun that it's handwriting too. I'm pretty actually super stoked to to do this. All right, so now here is a little goofy and hopefully we have enough space. Um, I wanted to put my YouTube uh, address there just because that's actually where the diary of this is, right? If you go to that YouTube address, you can see the whole process of the quilt. So I think it's, and I think it's kind of funny that something so temporal, <laughs> I suppose, uh, is on a quilt, you know, a quilt that could be around for a long time, you know? So I, I, I just think there's something quirky and goofy about that. So I, I like that. So let's see if we can get this whole thing on here yet. Um, it may have to get a little smaller, but we're gonna give it a try. So I gotta, I gotta look at that and make sure I do it right. Let's see, should I start? Yeah, we're gonna just start on, on this edge. Ooh, let's get our little guide in there. I'm not going to stitch this, but actually to connect the letters to each other, I may have to, may have to stitch it a little bit. Oh, I hope everything's all right, Jennifer. All right. Um, I think I'm going to do this in cursive, even though, even though a website's maybe weird in cursive, but I think it'll be easier to do and kind of fun. So let's do H T T P and we'll have to get those T's in there somewhere and we'll have to get we'll have to get these dots and these slashes in here somewhere somehow like I'll have to connect them that'll be goofy but it'll be fine you tube <laughs> around the corner. It's kind of cute. <laughs> ah, it's making me laugh. That's that makes it okay. YouTube dot com another slash in there. That's going to be kind of awkward going around this corner. Maybe I should bend that slash a little bit. Yeah, it's going there. And then we'll just start penguin and fish up here. We'll do a big swoop, like the big start of the P. There we go. <laughs> that connects it. P. 
ten Gwen Ooh, how do we do an I? How about like that? Gwen Oops, lost my lost my line. Oh, this is going to be fun to stitch, though, I think. Fish. Oop, this guy needs another dot. I'm not including the town and the state, just because I feel like it mostly lives online. <laughs> uh, this is what I did for the the charming, or for the um, splendid sampler, and I think I was kind of okay with this being the address. I, I like that it's a twist on, on an address, so instead of town and state... We'll do the web address. Penguin and fish. There. Get an eye on there. <laughs> All right. So there is. There's probably just enough room for me to write project charming chevrons quilt. So let's uh let's extend our lines. I just I get a kick out of this. It's just so silly. I like it. All right, let's have this be not cursive again cuz why not? Project uh, charming Chevron's quilt. So this is kind of the title of where to find it on YouTube. Yep, makes people have to look it up one day, right? And even, let's say there's no internet anymore, it's still a history of the time period. You know what I mean? It's a history that at this time this was made, the internet existed, YouTube existed, you know, and that helps categorize the history of it too, I think. All right, we'll do this cursive too. Charming. My cursive this way is not great. Let's twist the body a little bit. Shove. Let's go around this corner. Shove. Runs. It's a little difficult to read, isn't it? This whole thing might be difficult to read because who knows if I'll be able to uh, free motion this. <laughs> there's, there's that problem too. Ooh, a quilt. Ooh, that'll be a good one. Um, good to do a fr free motion cursive cue. Except for how I get up there. I don't know how I'll get up there. Kind of want to go. Oops. L T. Is that weird? Maybe I wanted a. Maybe I wanted a circle. Just so it looks more like a Q. I don't know. We'll have to decide when we get there how I want to write Q. That <laughs> makes you wonder what the future holds. Like, oh my gosh, look, it just... Whoa, we totally centered it perfectly. Look, so we started it on the other side um, at the after the first thing, and we're ending it right there, too. <laughs> perfect. So it is going the entire length minus uh, the side. So we've centered it perfectly. <laughs> Almost as if... The quilt gods are in our favor tonight here. All right, let's uh, pull this up. And uh, I would like to, oof, geez, this is a lot of quilt here. I would like to give this a go. So I'm starting from this side and working my way up. Okay, I do need to uh, uh, thread my machine here. So we're gonna do this gold. Hopefully that warm up from earlier is still sticking. 
It's a pretty gold. Just cutting, giving it a clean edge. Ha, <laughs> perfectionism. Yeah, it would be perfectionism if, if I uh, planned it that way. I worked really hard to get it there, but we just got lucky, which is fun. Okay, we are threaded. I'm gonna get you guys down here. Ooh, we're, we're a little wiggly, sorry about that, guys. Okay, right here. Oop, I'm not threaded down here yet. So there's no, like, entryway hole to this foot. So I gotta kind of grab the bobbin and start pulling it up and then pull both threads underneath. There we go. Okay, let's try. Ooh, my tape is coming off here. Hopefully that's not gonna cause a problem. You know, maybe I'm, I think I'm gonna put an extra piece of tape on there because I don't want this to shift because then we'll be starting to stitch through through the paper there. I'll just trim that. If you have written it correct on the back, it will, yeah, it will be backwards on the front, Donna. Yep, that's, that's what I'm planning. Um, yeah, so this is gonna be weird. It's weird to do this because it will be, it will be backwards on the front. However, it will also be relatively hidden on the front because the front is all sorts of pattern and stuff. See like this? Um, you know, you can see this stitching, but it's relatively hidden. You're looking more at like the pattern of the fabrics instead. So we have that going for us a little bit. So a few, a few little bits here and there, you'll be like, that's weird. There's text there and it's written backwards. But um, because the idea of, you know, a lot of times labels are on the back. Oh, I almost started here where I want to go here instead. Um, we thought we'd do it this way so it, it's correct on the back versus the front. So a little silly, but I think it's, I think it's going to be fun this way. And we're going to fill it in with a pile of um, quilting, other quilting and stuff yet too. But yep, that's, that's the plan. It'll be backwards on the front, which I know will be a little goofy. And that's why we're working on the back right now too. We flipped the quilt around. I didn't quilt any of the other parts on on the back. I quilted the rest all on the front. But I thought this would be fun. Okay, so now this is really odd because the angle of this text is going to keep changing. Um, let me find the glove. Oh, I'm sitting on it. <laughs> Here we go. Um, the text angle keeps changing, so right now I have to write my name kind of upside down. So I'm glad I wrote it out. So I'm going to try and connect all the letters along this baseline. And, you know, we're just going to see what happens. If I get the gist of this and it's sort of readable, I'll be happy. So we're going to start here. Oh man, I'm nervous. <laughs> we're going to go real slow. All right, I got to get that A in. So we're going to cross. I gotta kind of remember where I am with this foot too, because I it's, you know, big and metal and I can't see through it. So it might've been wise to switch to the other foot, but we're not doing that. Okay, we're gonna go up to here. I gotta kind of think how I write my name and try and mimic that. This one I gotta backtrack. <laughs> this is so weird, but I'm I'm excited about it. Alright, let's get this crisscross. And back down. So there we go. <laughs> There's a uh, first name. Alright, let's now I'm just gonna connect 
connected along this line here. So all these are gonna have like this weird baseline going to it, but I think, you know, it's free motion quilting. It's gonna be forgiven, I'm thinking. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. To me, to me, Kathy, it's, it's we because I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys here helping me. So in my mind, it's a team effort. Oh, how do I get up to that? Oh, let's pre pretend it's cursive. Oof, wow, that one was off. Um, but I think we'll still hook up to this M like that. swoop up to the top and work our way down. Ooh, I'm stuck on something here. Hold on. The pin, something got stuck just now. Stop moving. Oh, an embroidery machine do the text. Oh, with the baseline. Oh yeah, that's true. An embroidery machine would, would have to connect these. Uh, the other option is that I just stop stitching and I just jump. I leap to the next text and then I would have to snip, snip that away. Uh, but I'm not doing that. Okay, so we got a name. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna stitch along the baseline again. And start. So I'm not, you know, this is my handwriting that I'm doing. So it's a little, it's not perfect. It's it's kind of goofy looking, so I'm not gonna go all the way to the baseline every single time. Like here, I, I did that cross T um, up first because my S was kind of higher, because I'm kind of just writing how I write. Ooh, but now I can't see. All right, we're gonna guess. Actually, that's a good benefit of doing your own handwriting. If you can't see your text, you kind of know how you write your own text, so. You can figure it out a little bit. This is fun though. <laughs> I can see doing more text. This is fun. And you know what? I think this gold looks fabulous. Uh, we'll be able to read it on the back really easily. I think it's cool. Okay, so I think we had a few weird colons here. So let's see, how do we do that? We're gonna just go around a couple times, come back down, go around another time. Then I guess let's just trace the edge of this V. You know, I'm just using using the thickness of my ruler as a guide. Start. That looks like start. Okay, let's see. Now we gotta get this January. And again, I'm trying to do cursive where I'm not totally horizontal. You know what? Why don't we just rotate this a little bit? Because then I, well, then it doesn't fit in the machine very well. We'll just try and keep doing it upside down. So I just gotta th think about how to write a J though. Okay, I gotta go to about to here. All right, let's give it a go. Kind of writing, like I'm. I'm definitely imagining writing in cursive in my own handwriting when I'm doing this. So that's helping me. I'm looking a ahead a little bit, just because my presser foot covers up my stitches, or covers up where I want to stitch next. So I gotta kind of pay attention to it. Okay, so January. Ooh, how are we gonna do this too? Let's start on this side. <laughs> January. 
fun. Okay. This too is gonna get double stitched. Okay, now thousand. A scene. <laughs> I have to say it all out loud so I don't totally get lost. All right, uh, great. Let's keep going. I think this is going well. Although I haven't checked, uh, let's check. <laughs> check our uh, other side. Oh, I think our, um, <laughs> see here it's backwards, which is kind of silly, but it just looks like, just, it just looks like some sort of weird meander though too, but our tension looks awesome here. So that, that makes me really happy, especially on this light color where you can see a lot going on. But look here, this dark color, can't hardly see anything. So I think it's fun. All right, 2018, and now I'm writing the word end. Let's see. I guess we go up, over, over, over. <laughs> that was odd, but oh well. That E doesn't have the ba the same baseline as these. Okay, doing that weird colon again. Okay, now I get to do August, and I think that's going to be pretty. Oh man, it's 418 by you, Kathleen. Ah! That's a bummer that you can't sleep, though. Alright, how do I start this A? I think we're going to swoop up and then back down. Uh... Ooh, better move my hands. You know, one thing I didn't check was if all my spelling was correct, so if I have wrong spelling, start screaming at me. Oop, I gotta get that T. Okay, cursive is way more fun. <laughs> it is fun, that was a fun word. All right, I get this, oop, don't wanna get bunched up here. I have to get this uh, 2018 in again. August 1st is my husband's birthday. So that's coming up. Oh gosh, that's not a straight line. Hey. Ooh, time to move my hands again. They're getting far away. So I watched a tutorial on doing text and someone had printed out their text onto paper and then put the paper down and stitched right on top of the paper. So that would be a way to really get, get stuff super exact. I think we might have time to finish this text, which would be awesome. Oh gosh, that's a, those are big stitches. I'm gonna go back over them. <laughs> I know that's super ugly, but oh well. Um, all right, so now it's this web address, and I did that in cursive, which is fun. Okay. H. Oh, 
you keep moving your iPad to help you. I've done that before too, Terry, where someone's sewing and actually, uh, gosh, there was one video that I saw that they kept doing the action just off screen. Like they were up here and I kept trying to duck my head down so I could look up higher. <laughs> so hopefully I don't do that to you guys too often because that was annoying. H T. All right, and then I got a colon. And then a, whatever those are called, backslash. Backslash. Okay, now we're gonna write YouTube around this corner. Oops, sorry guys. I just need to get my next part of this quilt on board with this game. Okay. We're flat. Okay. <laughs> okay we got youtube in there kind of <laughs> i think it's gonna be just readable for somebody from the future <laughs> who knows it's gonna be it's gonna be tough okay youtube all right now i need just a dot Um, hands getting away from me. Okay, and then we got another weird backslash that's at a weird angle here. I should maybe not finish the um text because that almost looks like an e but people are gonna have to figure it out okay so now penguin and fish movies <laughs> this is so odd all right P I wrote this type a little smaller, it's harder. You I and and actually I feel there we go. Shimmy this back. Oh, this H is stretching across points. <laughs> there we go. That's kind of funny. I like that H. Uh, 
of movies. I can tell I'm reaching that that point in my um, stitching, in my free motion for the night that things start going downhill, so I'm hoping I'll be okay. That might be it for the bobbin, oh no! <laughs> this has been a long journey, but has given me the confidence to quilt your next quilt. Awesome, Kathleen! That is awesome. Oh, you can't wait to make the book cover for um, Christmas presents. Um, okay. <laughs> that couldn't have ended at a better spot. I believe we're just out of bobbin, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get new bobbin thread. Um, let's see what's going on. Yeah, we're, we're out of bobbin. <laughs> so I think that's it. Let's, let's check it out though. Um, all right. Uh, I just finished the last part of the web address uh, <laughs> when we ran out. So here we go. Oh, I love it. It's silly and weird. Okay. So here we go. Let's start at the beginning. All right. Alyssa Thomas. Start, oh, that looks like text. I can read that. Start January. It is weird because it is, it, it feels like my handwriting. So it's weird. It's weird to see your own handwriting in, in stitches. Okay, 2018 and August 2018. And then let's see if this is readable at all. Um, okay, HTTP. I, I don't think I should have added that last cursive swoop. Uh, but, you know, it's in there now. Um, colon slash slash YouTube. Again, there. Dot com. I think, I think you can kind of read that. YouTube.com slash. Penguin and fish movies. All right. So all we have left is... Um, well, let's finish this. We'll finish this S up tomorrow because we ran out of Bob in there. Uh, and then we'll write Project Charming Chevron's Quilt. And that will be that. We'll have to decide what type of cue we want to do there. But all right, I want to flip it around and see what it looks like on the other side, too, if it looks totally wonky or if it looks kind of invisible, which, oop, sorry, I'm bumping you a little bit. It's hard moving this, this quilt around. So, all right. Here we are. So obviously you can <laughs> see that it exists and it's like, what the heck is this? Uh, some weird things. But remember, um, you know, see like right here, it totally blends in. You can't read anything really unless you get right up, right up there. That's that other 2018 backwards. But we will be adding all those swirls and all that extra quilting. So I don't think even though this is backwards type, I really don't think it's going to look any different than, than this, just filled in. Um, you're really going to see it on the back where it's against that, against that, um, first of all, the color pops, but when it's against that red. So yeah, so we'll finish the text and then we'll come back and I'll just like go a quarter inch away from everything, just kind of like bloop it. Um, and then we'll fill in the rest of the space. So that's the plan for tomorrow. We'll finish the text tomorrow for sure. Come back out and do our bloop and then start. Um, you know, hopefully we'll get at least a good start on the fill. But I love it. I think this is the way to go. And I don't have to make a label later. I'm excited about that. So all right, guys, I'm going to flip you around. We'll call it an evening. Yay! Another evening of quilting done. I am, sorry guys, let's get you tweaked. All right, I'm super excited for this. Let's see if you guys can see. Ah, soon we'll get to do the binding. We are almost done here. There we are. Uh, we'll wash and scrunch up the writing. Good question, Marie, probably. So we'll, we'll have to just see. Uh, I think it's just fun. I mean, you know. You're gonna have to work <laughs> to read it, but I think it'll be a fun little discovery or a fun little remember thing. Like, oh yeah, we've stitched it out. Let's see if we can figure out what this says. 
Um, it probably will scrunch up a little bit, but meh, it's hidden. It'll be a fun little hidden thing. So yeah, we'll finish this last row and then we'll get started with this binding. I'm going to do that self-enclosed binding. So we are, we're not going to make a whole separate bias tape binding or anything. I'm going to just trim the batting away and we'll, there's enough fabric on the back that we can build our binding out of there. Uh, and then we'll just machine sew that on. So after that, we'll be done with this quilt. I will wash it up. And I'm going to put a ton of color catchers in there because uh, there's a lot of red on here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking all this red is going to bleed a little bit. Uh, but then we'll we'll see. We'll see if the yes, I spy. It's like an I spy. We'll see if we can still read that type or not. Uh, but yeah. So at that point, we'll be done with this quilt and we will be ready to move on with the sketchbook. So I will have more info on the sketchbook cover project. Uh, it's going to be an embroidery project plus a, uh, a how to sew a sketchbook cover with a uh, zipper in the back pouch or in the, in the back so you can actually stick some pencils or something in there. I'll show you guys that soon in an email. Uh, just so you guys know, if you're wondering when we're going to start that, I think we're going to start it the beginning of September. So I'm going to be out for a little bit of August and we'll still be working on this quite a bit in August. So I think, um, I think like September, whatever that first week of September, I think that's going to be our week for starting uh, the next project. So if you're wondering when it's going to happen, I think then, and I'll have a little, uh, in a couple weeks, I'll have a sale uh, for uh, all the stuff. If you don't want to go out and get your own sketchbook or or fabric or zippers or anything like that. I'll put a little bundle uh, and the pattern and stuff together for you for that. So stay tuned for an email uh, on that in the next couple weeks, two weeks tops. And that'll be your next project. But for now, we'll keep working on this. Uh, I'll get this up on YouTube at Penguin and Fish Movies on YouTube. <laughs> Just how we wrote out today. And I'll see you guys again for more of this tomorrow. Good night.